Hello and welcome. Today what we're going to do is take a quick look at electroacupuncture. So it's going to be a quick short presentation as how you can effectively utilize electroacupuncture to treat uh, OA knees. Key thing is we're not going to be looking at blitz in the area with electroacupuncture. It's just a case of selecting six effective point for the management of this particular condition and applying electroacupuncture effectively in order to manage the condition. In this case, I'm going to use um, one of the machines I use more frequently. Again, this uh, allows you to change or set the polarity as to what you want to set it to in order to manage that particular condition, depending on as to whether it's a wear and tear or whether it's primarily pain, you're actually going to focus your attention on. So let's take a quick look at um, how we can actually go about applying the electroacupuncture. So when you're treating osteoarthritic knees, there's a number of points that can actually be used. Uh, one of your main points is going to be these, which is called the eyes of the knee. So they're going to be your first two points and your most important points that you're actually going to start to apply. Um, best thing to do is to use the surround the dragon technique, but it's going to be important that you think about what points you're actually going to use to actually surround the dragon. So if we start off with the two main points, which is going to be the eyes of the knee, uh, mainly the one on the lateral side being stomach 35. So we shall start with this one. That's the extra point. You can go on to then utilizing spleen 9. If you think about spleen 9 and spleen 10 segmentally, these two points cover all the segments for the actual knee with regards to pain management. So if you're going to use any points on a segmental basis, it'll be spleen 9 and spleen 10. So if you're going for spleen 10, two sun above the actual lateral edge or should I say medial edge of the patella and then we're going to come in for stomach 34 on the opposite side to sun proximal to the lateral edge of the patella So these are going to be your main points segmentally. You can now come and utilize one of the other common points that's used. It's going to be your gallbladder coming in and utilize your gallbladder 34. So find the head of your fibula. Head of your fibula is not that. that. Here we go. So we're just going to find the head of the fibula. needle away from the head okay so now we can start to connect our electrodes try and keep them to the same meridian spleen 9 spleen 10 with regards to the eyes of the knee I'm going to put both electrodes to the eyes of the knee. And then now key thing is there are other points you can actually utilize in addition to these but you don't want to go for the overkill with all the points now I'm going to set 
the device to 20 hertz, um, particularly for the OA and E, or anything between 10 and 20 hertz. You can set it to 2 hertz, uh, which is primarily for pain management. Many of the studies will set it to 2 hertz, but in this case, I'm going to set it um, to um, uh, 20 hertz, which I found quite effective in my case for treating osteoarthritic knees. Right, so I'm going to, um, again, you can set it to positive or negative. Negative is going to deal mainly with pain. Positive is any kind of bone re regeneration, which isn't something we're going to find with an osteoarthritic knee. So I'm going to keep it on negative, primarily to deal with the pain aspects of things. And I'm going to start to click it up. Can you just tell me when you can actually feel it at all? So it's the brown ones. Can feel that? Right, just let me know when it gets to a comfortable level. That's okay. So same again. Let me know when you can feel it. Okay, let me know when it gets to a comfortable level. Okay. And the other one. Okay, I know it gets to a comfortable to level. Okay, so again, if you notice in this case, I've only used a total of six needles. Now, there have been a number of studies that's been out there that's demonstrated um, with regards to five, two, and 11 needles. Um, and again, what they basically found, as long as you're using these two, the eyes of the knee, they're the two main points you need to actually utilize. Uh, so they're going to be quite important to use those two points. Uh, what they're finding is six is a good number to actually use. Uh, so ideally, if you're treating osteoarthritic knee, six is an ideal number. Do bear in mind, you will also need to source out trigger points. So there's a number of trigger points that will actually refer down to the knee, such so as your rectus femoris uh, muscle. That will refer pain directly over the kneecap. Some of your abductors will actually refer pain over the patella um, femoral joint. So it is important to source out any trigger points in an arthritic joint that's going to refer pain into the area and incorporate that into your treatment uh, protocol as opposed to just purely uh, needling locally. Again, you can also put um, ashy points in around the knee, so source out any tender points around the knee and you can just needle that, set the electrodes to negative and that will help to reduce that. And there's also the point on top here, which is your heading. So that is a point you can also utilize as part of your treatment. Uh, so again, you've got a range of needles uh, points to choose from, but however, these are going to be your main points when treating osteoarthritic knees.